and welcome back to Front End Hero. Um, apologies for the delay in uploading uh, videos. Um, 2018 was a little bit manic for me. So um, hopefully uh, this year I'll be uploading a lot more videos and we can all learn together. So in this little tutorial, we're going to be creating this effect here. Uh, it's basically just uh, some text with some a few little CSS properties applied. Um, it's a non-standard uh, CSS property, but um, for the most mod most modern browsers will display it just fine. Some Internet Explorer uh, versions obviously will have a, a problem, but um, use it at your own discretion. So to see how we've done it, we're going to pop into our markup and all we see is just a standard uh, paragraph uh, tag. Uh, we're giving it a class of BG just to differentiate if we create any more paragraph uh, tags in our document. And we are going to pop into our CSS and begin to write it. So to refresh the document, this is what the text uh, normally looks like. Uh, okay, so we're going to create the class of BG and we are going to give it a font size of about 66 pixels. And let's see what that looks like there. Eh, yep, it's fine, but it needs a lot more work. So I'm gonna change the line height to about 80 pixels. and give it a, a bit more bolder weight of about 800. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, and then we're going to make everything uppercase. Um, let's see how that looks like there. Yeah, fine. Uh, okay, now, so here we are going to add our background, uh, our background image, which is this guy here, which is just bg.jpg. Okay, let's see how that looks like right now. Yeah, not too great. Uh, okay, so we're going to change this um, around a bit. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna background position the uh, image at top, uh, left, top, right, and make it uh, cover size, and we don't wanna repeat it. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So, we're going to give the text a color of, I'm gonna copy and paste my little pink uh, front end color here. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, great. So now we want to uh, mask the image into the text. So we're going to use a property called WebKit Background clip and give it a value of text. Let's see how that looks like there. Yeah. So what we need to do is add um, a secondary uh, property and it's called webkit text fill color and give it a value of transparent. Now let's have a peek. Yeah, looks nice. So that's essentially it. These two properties um, generally should go together. And with this um, little uh, technique here, I mean, there's so many options you could use here. You could even use SVG, you could use animated um, SVG backgrounds, things like that. But um, it's a cool little trick uh, to try for your, um, for your own uh, projects. And that's, that's basically about it. So hopefully um, I'll be coming out with a few more videos um, in the upcoming months. 
uh, please subscribe and um, if you found this valuable give it a thumbs up um, thanks very much and see you in the next video